So in example C, what is different is we have only one angle we know. One of them is 20. The other two, we don't know. There's a little help though. The two missing angles are both the same. They're both x. If they were differently measured, they would be different variables, x and y, a or b. But because they are the same, that means they are equal in measure. Here's what you know. You can see 20 degrees out of the 180. How many degrees are missing right now? It's a mountain. 120, um, 180 minus 20. 160 degrees are missing. Do you know what I mean by missing? Yeah. It means we don't know. We don't know where the 160 degrees are. They must be here. Two. Yes. I am going to divide by two, right, Gary? That's why. Because why? So, like, if you divide by two, you would get half of that number. Which is? Each angle is 80 degrees. If each angle is 80, then both of them are the same. And if I add up 80 plus 80 plus 20, it equals what? How many degrees should there be in a triangle? 180. This is 100 plus 80, 180. So that's me going mental, OK? That's me being mental. I'm not using algebra here. I'm just simply using what I know about triangles. All three angles add to be 180. I, I can see 120 of them. I can't see 160 of them. So the 160 must be split in half. So they're equally shared.